hello guys welcome to today's video in today's video i want to show you how to register and apply for a new kri pin in kenya and the process is very simple and uh, you can do it by yourself uh, before i get started uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more valuable content like this let's get started head over to your favorite browser my favorite browser here is chrome uh, type itax portal like that then click enter uh, click the first link and the first link is going to direct you to the itax portal uh, click new pin registration like that on the taxpayer type uh, select individual on the mode of registration select online form then click next um, here on the on, on section a basic information citizenship uh, click that your citizen your kenyan citizen so click kenyan um, on the employees profession major group select uh, that select student then uh, on the national ID details uh, enter your national ID number here let me enter my national ID number I have entered my national ID number then I'll continue the next thing I need to uh, enter here is date of birth let me enter my date of birth I've entered my date, dates of birth then after that I'll click somewhere outside the form like this and you'll notice that uh, other details auto populate automatically uh, going on I'll scroll uh, down to the to the principal physical address okay and then uh, anyone that has an aesthetic uh, mark uh, requires to be filmed so let me start by street or round enter your street or round i've entered my, my street or round uh, select your county let me select my county my county is Meru then I proceed over to the building enter the building I've entered the building then enter the city or town enter the city or town select your district select your district according to your national ID I've selected my uh, district then go over to your tax area locality uh, select your tax area locality like that um, then proceed over to uh, principal postal address there enter your postal code enter the postal code of your area enter the postal code of your area I've entered the, the postal code of my area enter the PO box of your area PO box of your area I've entered the PO box of my area the town uh, is uh, auto populated automatically after you enter the postal code I'll proceed to the principal content details uh, and over to the uh, mobile number enter your mobile number there
I've entered my mobile number then proceed over and uh, enter main email address enter your main email address I've entered my main email address like that then uh, the system uh, pops out a message uh, that says in order to continue using itax functionality you are required to verify your email address please click send otp button to receive otp on mentioned email address here uh, the system wants to verify uh what to verify your email by sending a uh, an otp uh, to, to your email okay click ok uh, send otp uh, the otp is sent to the email that you have provided so uh, i'm going to end over to my email and check the otp i have received an otp uh from from admin.itax open the email and my otp is there i'll copy this number i'm supposed to enter the otp there like that uh, then I'll proceed alternative one reason contact details do you have do you have any alternative address I'll say no in my case uh, bank account details do you do you wish to declare your bank account for tax refunds I in my case I'll, I'll say no are, are you a partner, director, or a trustee in any other entity? I will say no. Uh, would you like to declare your relationship with other, with any other taxpayer? I will say no. Um, then I will click next. And then the system pops out a message that says, Please accept the data privacy policy to proceed. Okay, I have to accept the data policy to proceed yeah uh, data privacy make sure you accept this data privacy here like that then uh, click next uh, the system gets me to uh, section B obligation details income tax here I'm going to check income tax resident because I am a Kenyan then date then uh, registration date i'm going to pick today's date okay like that i'm going to click next then uh, section c what are your sources of income uh, employment income i'll select if i'm not employed in my case i'm not employed i'll click no business income i'll click no rental income I don't have any rentals I'll click no and then I'll click next uh, to the property details in the property details I don't have any property so I'll just click next uh, then I yeah, the system gets me to the section of tax agent authorized to submit any application on behalf of the taxpayer uh, since I am not a tax agent I'll, I'll ignore that the system will pop up a message that uh, confirms that you have registered uh, your email as you as your primary email address in itax all further communications from itax system will be sent to this email it means uh, the email that you provided during uh, registration of the KRI PIN is the email that will be used uh, for all further communications from ITAC system. So, anytime the KRI wants to uh, communicate to you, uh, they, they are going to use the email that you have, you have provided. Click OK. And do you want to submit the data? I'll click OK. After clicking OK, uh, you can see uh, my KRA PIN certificate has been generated so I just need to click here 
to download pin certificate i'll click the link there and you can see my uh, carry pin has been generated let me open it uh there we go there we go and that is my kri pin so guys that's how you uh, uh, register for a new kri certificate pin and you can see the process is very simple and uh, you can do it for yourself thank you for watching and please subscribe to the channel for more valuable content like this